Former Prime Minister Imran Khan, held in solitary confinement in a death cell for 298 days now, has said that he holds the former Army Chief General Bajwa as responsible for derailing democracy in Pakistan. Imran Khan spoke exclusively to journalist Mehdi Hassan from his prison cell, answering written questions sent in by Mehdi Hassan. Imran Khan said he was being tortured psychologically, yet his faith helps him get through as he exercises and reads to keep his mind fresh. Imran Khan called on the global community to raise their voice for democracy in Pakistan. He said, and quote, this is not just about Imran Khan. This is an attack on democracy and the right to self-determination of 250 million people. Silence has prevailed while men, women and children have been abducted and tortured. A judge in Pakistan refused to announce a reserved judgment on the iddat or illegal marriage case against Imran Khan and his wife Bushra Bibi. The court had reserved the verdict last week on appeals filed by the former Prime Minister and his wife against the conviction in the iddat case, which was the third and last in a series of verdicts announced just a few days before the general elections. Religious scholars and civil society condemned the vile case brought about after the Pakistani military abducted Bushra Bibi's ex-husband, the chief complainant in this case. The Islamabad High Court, in an order on the audio leaks case, restrained on Wednesday telecom companies from recording phone calls and data for surveillance purposes. Justice Baba Sadar heard the petitions of former First Lady Bushra Bibi and former Chief Justice Saqib Nassar's son against their respective audio leaks. The court demanded clarity regarding the law authorizing the Pakistan Telecommunication Authority to carry out surveillance activities. Ahmed Farhad, the poet and journalist who was disappeared by Pakistan's intelligence agencies for a satirical poem about enforced disappearance is in police custody, authorities admitted before the Islamabad High Court today. Senior Judge of the High Court, Mohsin Akhtakiani, had summoned intelligence officials today and ordered the proceedings to be live-streamed. Journalists observed that fearing such transparency, the poet was transferred to police custody and a backdated first information report was filed. The assault on Rafah by the Israeli occupational forces continued despite a global outcry. The Israeli occupational forces shelled a tent camp in a designated safe zone west of Rafah and killed at least 21 people, including 13 women and girls, in the latest mass killing of Palestinian civilians. A complete shutdown of telecommunications and internet services throughout Rafah is also reported. At least 36,171 Palestinians have been killed and 81,420 wounded by the occupational forces since October 7th, 2023.